Hi there, I'm Timothy Jordan, a developer advocate here at Google, and as you probably know, I like to do videos for developers, helping to educate and inspire around our platforms and services. And I'm here with Marquez Brownlee. That's funny, I also make videos, so I think it would make sense for us to make a video at the same time. I don't see why not. And in fact, let's start out in one of my favorite areas, Android Wear. So here we are in the Android Wear area really big watches, which is, I think, pretty cool. And of course, a uh, normal size watch on my wrist. Now, I want to show you uh, one of the new apps that we launched recently, which is Google Maps on uh, Android Wear. If I just tap on the watch, load up Google Maps, you can see, well, the first thing is that it's maps on the watch, which is pretty cool. Uh, but also, I can set it up so that uh, the compass is following me. As I kind of turn my wrist around or I look different direction, the map goes with me. Uh, also, I can zoom out, I can zoom in, I can look at local places. And this is a, a key thing. If it goes into ambient mode, the map is still there on the watch. And it's going to update once every minute. So all I need to do is glance at my watch, whatever mode it's in, and I know where I'm at. Very nice. I'll tell you what, that, that compass mode is going to be really handy for me because I have a terrible sense of direction. <laughs> it happens. Oh, there's Clem. Hey, Clem. Hey, how's it going? This is Clem Wright. He is a product manager on Android Wear, and this is Marquez. He is awesome. All right, so I've heard a little bit about an app called Vimo Golf on Android Wear. I was hoping maybe you could show me how it works. Yeah, for sure. Um, so this uses the accelerometer and gyroscope in the watch to track your golf swing. Um, so go ahead and set up, uh, get your stance right. And this is great. Uh, we know, Marquez, that you're a little out of practice, so don't worry about being perfect. Awesome, yeah. So as you see, we can watch your swing played back here on the phone. That is so cool. You know, you're still in the swing of things. Told you I still had it. OK, so here we are in the Google Cast area. Now, you know Google Cast is a great way to control your media, such as your TV shows or your music, from your phone. Well, now it's also a great way to play games. And uh, Marquez is actually playing Driver Speedboat Paradise. And you're about to, he's about to beat my time. Hey Nathan, could you? Uh, you really need to meet Nathan. He's uh, he's right here, and uh, oh, oh, you cr that's that's too bad. So uh, Nathan here is a product manager on Google Cast, and uh, Nathan, could you tell us a little why this game looks so great on the television right now? Yeah, Google Cast Remote Display for Games allows game developers to harness all the great GPUs that are in a phone and render great looking content not only to the local device but directly to the television. It's available for developers now, and it's really easy to use. Awesome. Well, we should get back to this game. Uh, is it is it my turn yet? I was I was just about to beat the record too. Oh, that's that's right. Okay, go for it again. So here we are in the Android TV area, and we're all playing on the Nvidia Shield Android TV. And of course, it's a racing game. So Marquez is kicking our butts. Yeah, it's a racing game. I got to be on top of my game. But I'm curious, since this is a new Nvidia Shield, if we crack this thing open, not that we would, what would we find inside? Crispy. Well, you'd find some uh, very excellent NVIDIA engineering. They've brought their X1 processor to Android TV and packaged it up in a form factor that consumers are going to love. It plays everything from AAA titles all the way down to casual games. And as the uh, Play Store expands the number of games available, consumers are just going to love this thing. Awesome. Well, I'm going to get back in the game. All right, Marquez, here we are in the Android Auto area, and I promised you we're going to get in one of these cars so you can text your mom. That's exactly what I need right now. All right, so it's looking pretty busy, but I know these guys really well, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let's do it. Hey, Andy. Hey, Timothy. Car's looking pretty good. Thanks. Hey, so I got my buddy Marquez here, and I just wanted to give him a quick demo. Timothy, you know the last time he gave you a car, what happened? <laughs> You can borrow the car, but it has to stay here. OK. All right, here you go. Remember what I said. I will. Thanks, Andy. So here we are at the home screen. You can see we get nav. Uh, we can head to the airport. We've got weather, recent calls. Looks like I also have a text from my mom. Here's the message. How's the conference? Reply. It's going pretty well, but I'm a little bit busy. I'm driving an Android Auto car. Here's the message. Well, that is so cool. For more information about anything in this video, hit me up on Google Plus or Twitter. Also check out Marquez Brownlee's quality tech videos on his YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Google Developers YouTube channel as well. Thanks for watching.